A new door is opening for Joanna in the wake of Britain's vote to leave the EU. She's British, but because her grandfather was Irish, she's now applying for an Irish passport too. It just means I can continue to work in Europe if I want to. If I want to apply to work in Berlin or Madrid or Copenhagen or somewhere else, that being British isn't going to be an obstacle to that because I'll be Irish as well, so I'll still be European. An estimated 10% of Brits have Irish heritage. As for Dubliners, they seem open to sharing their EU citizenship. Uh, they shouldn't be forced out of their own country. Who doesn't want to be Irish? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the weak pound is making the UK an attractive foreign destination, while encouraging Brits themselves to holiday at home. Since the referendum, we've seen an immediate spike in searches on online um, agencies looking for trips to Britain. That's been in China, when they reported about a 100% spike, and indeed domestic holidaymakers as well, searching for regions um, across the UK. Foreign exchange takes on a whole new meaning when it comes to the website I'd Be Nothing Without You, which encourages romance between British passport holders and EU citizens and the founders have found their strong appetite, with several thousand members, 300 of which are British passport holders. It's kind of a show of support by signing up. You're kind of saying to all the EU people in this country, we are not kicking you out by any means. We'll do anything we can to let you carry on living here, and we love you. <laughs> Despite the divisions Brexit has caused, just maybe it'll bring some people together.